Yeah, now we are going to discuss about activity one, finding objects that get stuck to the uh, cap of the pin holder. So that I am going to read it with the textbook and I will explain. Yeah, now I am going to read activity one, finding objects that get stuck to the cap of the pin holder. Take a pin holder from your school office. Drop some pins, jump clips, iron nails into it. What do you observe? First, we have to take the three things, pins, jump clips, iron nails and put in the pin holder. What will happen that we want to write there? Then, do the same with a piece of paper, a pencil and eraser. What do you observe? So, these two cases, I am going to show you a practical way. And what happens, that observation we want to write here itself. Yeah, now I am going to show to you the practical way how the pins get attached to the cap of the pin holder. But with me, no pin holder is there. But what is the secret in the cap of the pin holder, I will show to you. It is a magnet. What is it? It is a magnet. Okay. First three objects, pin, okay, attach it to the magnet. Next, jump clip, okay, get attached to the magnet. Next, iron nail, so with me a screw is there which is made with the iron, so get attached. See here, three objects are there, okay, these three objects get attached to the magnet so in the pin holder cap also there is a magnet the pin holder cap also there is a magnet so that's what uh, these three objects get attached to the cap of the pin holder that is what do you observe means we observe that pins jump clips and iron nails get attached to the cap of the pin holder Next again, there are three other objects we have to take. So, eraser, pencil and piece of paper. So, in our textbook given as a piece of paper, pencil and eraser. So, whatever it is the list in order, the three objects we are going to test with the magnet. So, pencil it is not attaching, eraser it is not attaching and piece of paper it is not attaching. So, after this second case also, there is a question is there, what do you observe? So, here in the second case, when we put a pencil, piece of paper and eraser in the pin box, means pin holder. So, among these three, any one not attached to the cap of the pin holder. So, in these two cases, only pins, iron nails and the paper clips which are made with the iron those are attached to the cap of the pin holder. The other than the iron objects means which are not made with the iron which will not get attached to the cap of the pin holder. Why? Because magnet present in the cap of the pin holder which attracts only iron itself. That is the conclusion of in these two cases. You would notice that some of these objects, pins, jump clips, nails get attached to the top of the pin holder, means cap of the pin holder while the other objects like paper, pencil, eraser fall into the pin holder. So, they did not get attached. Why does this happen so? What is the reason? Already I said to you, there is a magnet, only iron objects attracted. Yes, the cap of the pin holder contains a magnet which attracts substances like iron, pins, iron nails, etc. Already I told to you, 
iron only attracted by the magnet okay similarly the metal stickers also have a magnet at the back of so that they can stuck to the iron doors what materials is needed for making magnet so that we will know the upcoming content how were these magnets discovered so discovery of magnet we are going to know in the upcoming content so magnet can make with the iron by rubbing iron with iron we can make a magnet so that magnet who discovered the story of who, uh, discovery of magnet we will discuss in the upcoming concept so let us try to find out the answers to the following questions what are the questions which are given there to that questions we have to answer so what questions are there and what are the answers see now 